I remember this one time, it was right here in this street. I was going to work and then just how that car is pulling out, a freaking truck pulls out in front of me and it hits me in the shoulder. Sa! That was pretty crazy. I had a pretty good story to tell at work that day. We're about to do all kinds of riding. 91 for my baby. Wow. This thing fills up with three dollars. I gotta go pay some errands. Bleh. I had one of my subs, they said, can you give us beginner tips for new riders? My answer to that is hell yeah. Whenever you're starting your route, you want to make sure there's no one behind you that can fuck you over. Respect construction workers when there's cones. So this is the first time I'm actually on Superview while I do a moto vlog. My first tip, don't try anything crazy when you first start off. Get accustomed to your bike. That's the most important thing you want. You want to know how your bike works. Ride around everywhere and anywhere. I think there's a babe right next to me. So that's my first tip, get accustomed to your bike. My second advice, never trust the car. You can be the most safe rider, but if a car does something dumb to mess you up, you're gonna have a messed up day. Cagers are extremely freaking dangerous. Oh, we gotta agree. If you see the flow of traffic moving one direction, don't expect it to keep remaining that same direction. Traffic can change. Tip number three. Don't ride as dangerous as I ride. Tip number four. Look out for other bikers. Before you make any sudden movements, look out for both cars and bikers. I just want to do this so bad. Tip number four. I don't even know what tip, but next tip. Look out for people. If you run over an old lady, she'll cost the same as if you run over a young girl. So look out for people. Don't try and freaking show off. When you try and show off, bad things happen. I might pop willy for this little kid. I might not. You don't know me. <laughs> That's a nice moose thing. Oh, you sound good, baby. A lot of you guys ask, what the hell is VTEC? VTEC is Honda's way of having a turbo. So it's a turbo. I'll get back to you guys once I'm done with these bills. Oh, hey, calm down, rat. I'm gonna fuck you with that. <laughs> Look at the little, the furry rats going hard. Moving on to the next tip. Say what's up to riders. It's known tradition for bikers to say what's up to other bikers. So every time you see a biker, say hi to them. If you need to panic brake or something and you can't say hi to them, don't risk it. Don't say hi to them. Try and say hi to them whenever you have the chance. Even if you think they're not looking, say hi. We're about to pass by my old school. I haven't been here in a long time. I did actually drop out of school. I said, fuck school. I couldn't stand sitting in a classroom and just listening to a teacher talk about something that I am not interested in. Let's go through the parking lot. I think that guy's through the wrong way. What a douche. Hopefully I don't see none of my side hoes. Every time I rode through my car through here, I would set off alarms like crazy. 
you guys are debating whether or not to go to school, go to school, man. It's an awesome experience. I would always recommend people to go to school. Take a couple different courses to see what you like. Trust me, guys, there's a lot of pretty females in school. And if females isn't enough reason to get you to school, I don't know what is. I sure as hell will be returning school. You can't park in reverse, by the way. I say, fuck a stop. Cheat on me once, I'll let you pass. God damn, with an ass like that. So, KZE, will you be returning to school? Here's what I think the problem is. I have no idea what I would study. I'm pretty much halfway done to getting your bachelor's degree, I think, the first one. So I'm pretty much halfway done with that. So I can always just go back, but I have no idea what I would actually try and master in. What do you do when you have no idea with what to do? You go full-time YouTube. I would love to go to school, but where I was in life, I just felt like school was such a waste of time. I just felt like I could be doing so much in a day, whereas if I went to school, I would need to concentrate on schoolwork, attending the classes. So I personally saw school as a big waste of time. But yes, I would love to go back to school. So if you guys are undecisive about your career, try to join a lot of different courses and see what you like. I could say that I really enjoyed history type stuff. I just like to know what happened in our past. If I was to choose a career, I would probably want to go discover fossils. <laughs> Try to find some mummies and stuff. That's what I would do. I don't even know if that's a career. I'm going to show you guys a little clip. We do own a house in Mexico and when but the house was completely torn. Oh, damn. We had to tear down the whole house and build a complete new house. While they were building it, we actually found some little Aztec figures that seem pretty valuable and pretty old. So I'm gonna insert that right now. My grandmother always says that there's treasure hidden under our house. Even if you don't know what career, there's always certain things you can achieve. Oh my gosh, look at that lane splitting heaven. Ah, I'm gonna do it. You know I have no self-respect. I love Cali. When you are lane splitting, one thing you want to make sure you have down is taking off. You want to be the first one to launch. I'm going to say hi to him. Oh, death bastard. Ah, smells like trees. The natural type of trees, that is. So whatever you guys want to do, you do not need a college degree to be successful in life. Whatever you want to do, whatever you picture yourself doing the rest of your life, do it and do it to your fullest potential. In a couple years after things start progressing, you could go back to your school and you could say, fuck you teacher, I hated your class. I had this one teacher this one time. It was a test where like you start off with an essay about a book. I started writing my name, I think. I think it was just my name. And then he was all like, oh no, good, get out. And I think that's the reason I dropped out of college. No freaking lie. I don't need you in order for my life to be successful. So that guy just triggered me and I dropped out. So that's a little story of how, of the reason why I dropped out of school. Speaking about old memories, oh my gosh, this street is memory lane, I swear. My old work is right down this street. I used to work at a motorcycle center. I was the dude that would just build all the motorcycles that came in, all the razors, all that type of stuff. So I was Bob the Builder. I really enjoyed that work, it was really cool. Whatever job you take, try and make sure that you're gaining something out of the job. Of course, if you're fiending for money, get any job that comes. But if you have the time to actually search for a job, get a job where you slightly benefit out of when you get out. The reason why I didn't go back to that work was because I didn't really see any potential growth in it. Good thing you're not a Mustang, you would have crashed freaking KTM that is sexy as hell leaving your blinker on can cause a really big accident here's a really good tip I have for you guys make sure you maintenance your bike you have to lube your chain you have to lube it constantly you need two things to clean your chain the chain cleaner which is a little bottle you also need chain wax make sure your chain is in top shape or else you're just gonna be constantly buying new chains. Make sure your tire pressure's on the specific tire pressure that it says on the manual. If you do work on your bike yourself, you need to tighten everything to the torque specific specification. Your oil change. If you buy a brand new bike, you wanna oil change your bike after the first thousand miles. Now the reason for that, brand new bikes, 
use break-in oil. Now that's completely different from regular oil. As far as breaking in your bike, there's people that say you should take it easy on the bike. Don't over rev your bike and all. Just drive the bike how it's gonna be driven. So if you're gonna be a crazy speed maniac, be a crazy speed maniac when you're breaking in your bike. Can you even park there? This was a random ass moto vlog. Is that a Dalmatian? I haven't been off-roading in quite some time. Squirrels! Try and catch me, Kappa! Okay, let's get off. Like always guys if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe for more Peace. feel free to follow my snapchat and my instagram at kze underscore production